Was feeling tired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. That's weird. There are apples everywhere. Who would drop a. Oh. Oh, oh, pardon me, Loli. I was just finishing my masterpiece. There. My collection is complete. What collection is that, Vincent? It's my big apple collection. I have created two very large apple masterpieces. I call this one. One big red apple. Uh, wouldn't it make more sense to call it many small red apples? Well, from the ground, it looks like many small apples, Loli. But when you're looking down on it from up high, it is one big apple. Vincent's right. From up here, it looks like one huge red apple. <laughs> oh, this is nothing. My other apple masterpiece is so big, it can only be seen from way up high in the sky. That apple must be enormous. Ah, which reminds me. I have to rent a hot air balloon to see how my other apple art looks. Oops. <laughs> Can't forget my snowshoes. Snowshoes? Goodbye. Bye. You'll, You'll never, never guess, guess what happened. happened. A can of green paint exploded? Huh? I think Loli is wondering why you're painted green. Oh, because Martians are green. Martians? Martians? What Martians are you talking about? The Martians that landed on the wheat field! Wow, you actually saw Martians landing on the wheat field? Well, no, we didn't actually see the Martians. But we did see the huge mark that their flying saucer left behind. Come, Come on, we'll, we'll show, show you! See? That's where the Martians landed in their flying saucer. Hmm. I'm not sure this wheat field was flattened by a Martian's flying saucer, but I am sure that whatever did flatten it is... a mystery! Busy Action Club News! Goldbug here, reporting live from a wheat field where it's believed that Martians have landed. Oh! And here they are now! Hello, Martians! Welcome to Earth! Zilzabup! Zilzabup! <laughs> Those aren't Martians, Goldbug. That's Pig Will and Pig Won't. Oh? So it isn't true? Martians didn't flatten this field? Well, I don't think so. Which is why I'm going to solve the mystery of what did flatten this field. Okay, ready for it? Here goes! <gasps> for updates to a mystery that's totally out of this world. Go bug out. <laughs>
Did you see that? Goomba thought we looked like real Martians! You know what would make us look even more like Martians? Three eyes! Because Martians have three eyes! At least we think Martians have three eyes! So, where should we start, Huckle? With our biggest clue, the field. We need to think about what could have flattened the field, other than a flying saucer. What about a big farm tractor? Hmm, a big tractor could flatten a field for sure. And we know that tractors have big wheels, so if a tractor flattened this field, we would see big wheel tracks, right? Right! right. Then let's have a look! Nope, no big wheel tracks. Then it couldn't have been a tractor. Maybe whatever flattened the field came from above. You mean you think a flying saucer really did land on the field? No, but it could be another flying object. Lolly's right. Lots of things fly. And I know just the place to look for them. The busy town airport. Okay, so we need to look for a big round object the same shape that matches the flattened field. Hey, what about Rudolph von Flugel's airplane? Oh, but it's not big and round, so it couldn't have been a plane. Look, there's Goldbug in the Busy Town News helicopter. No, wait, it's sort of round, but way too small. And it can't be that blimp either. It's big, but it's not round. It's oval shaped. Well, if it's not an airplane, a helicopter, or anything else flying around Busy Town, then what could have flattened the field? What else? A Martian flying saucer, that's what! Sorry, guys, I just don't believe Martians landed in a flying saucer. Boy, the wind sure is strong out there. Look how far down it's bending the antennas. <gasps> we forgot antennas! Martians always have antennas! <gasps> or at least we think they do. You know, you just gave me an idea, Sally. Maybe a strong wind is what flattened the field. You mean like a tornado? Yes, but how can we find out if a tornado passed through Busy Town? What about Vanderbilt? Yes, but he doesn't have equipment to see a tornado. The real weather expert in Busy Town is Wallace the Weatherman. Busy Town Weather Station, here we come! Anytime a tornado or big storm rolls through Busy Town, I see it on my radar screen here. Have you seen any tornadoes lately, Weatherman Wallace? Nope, I haven't seen one in years. If it wasn't a tractor, or an airplane, or a tornado, what could have flattened the field? We told you! A Martian flying saucer landed on the field! Oh, <laughs> I'm afraid that's not possible. I can see everything that flies in the skies over Busy Town, and I've never seen a Martian flying saucer. What's that flying object, Wallace? I don't know. You know, it kind of looks like... A Martian Flying Saucer! They're coming back! And we're not there to greet them! It kind of looks like a hot air balloon. Can you zoom in, Wallace? You're right, Huckle. It is definitely a hot air balloon. Wait a minute. Didn't Vincent say something this morning about going to find a hot air balloon? You're right, Loli. He did. He said one of his apple pictures was so big, it could only be seen from way up high in the sky. Do you think a hot air balloon has something to do with the mystery of the flattened field? I'm not sure. There's only one way to find out. Back to square one. Or is it round one? <laughs> <laughs> Martians were here! We found Martian shoes! <laughs> Those aren't Martian shoes, Pigwill. They're snowshoes. They sure are. But what are a pair of snowshoes doing in the middle of a field in the summer? Well, I don't know. But I remember that Vincent was carrying a pair of snowshoes this morning when he rushed off to find a hot air balloon. And look, there he is now. It's Vincent, all right. And he's pointing to the field. Hey! Maybe Vincent's hot air balloon is what flattened the field. It's big and it's round. You're right, Loli, but only the balloon is big and round. That basket that lands on the ground is small and square. I don't get it. If Vincent's hot air balloon didn't flatten the field, then what did? Come on, you've worn the Martian shoes long enough. It's my turn. It's not. It's two. It's not. It's two. It's not. It's two. Hmm, that's it. I know how the field 
got flattened. So, Huckle, after going in circles, did you finally solve the mystery? I'm pretty sure I did, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. First, we found a flattened field in the shape of a big circle. We figured out it couldn't be a farm tractor, and it couldn't be an aircraft, and it couldn't be a tornado, because Wallace said he hadn't seen one in years. It wasn't until I saw Pig Will running on the field with a pair of snowshoes that I thought, that's how the field got flattened. Then I remembered that Vincent was carrying a pair of snowshoes this morning. And I also remembered that Vincent had just made a giant art masterpiece that could only be seen from high up in the air. So I think that Vincent used the snowshoes to flatten the field to make his giant work of art and that this circle is his Big Apple masterpiece. There you have it, folks. Huckle has rounded up the facts to solve the flattened field mystery. Everybody all together solved a mystery. Huckle, you can solve one too. Hooray for Huckle! This is Goldbug signing off saying, and how do you like them apples? Goldbug at... <laughs> So are you saying that this big, round, flattened field is actually Vincent's artwork? It is indeed, Sally. You are standing in the middle of my other Big Apple Collection masterpiece. We are! Yes, but to truly enjoy it, you must see it from high in the sky. So please, join me for a ride. field looks just like a giant apple. And there's a worm, just like me. <laughs> it certainly is a masterpiece, Mr. Van Goat. Yes, you might even say it is the apple of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> the Flying Potatoes Mystery. here reporting live from a busy street in busy town where a potato just dropped from the sky. What's going down, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, this potato flew in out of nowhere and landed right in a tuba. A potato in a tuba? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> You're right. It sounded terrible. And we are going to find out where the potato came from. Right, team? Whee! All right! Ready for it? Here goes! Ooh, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, Say how? how? Ooh, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Everybody! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Solve a mystery! Who, what, when, where, why, how? All together! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Huckle Cat, you and me! Who, what, when, where, why, Everybody. how? Everybody! Who, what, why, how? Here first, folks. Drop everything and follow Huckle and his team as they solve the mystery of the flying potato. 
Make that flying potatoes. And that's the buzz in busy town. Go bug out of here. Where do we start looking for clues, Huckle? Well, let's see. We know that Farmer Patrick Pig grows potatoes. Maybe he can tell us where the flying potatoes came from. To, to Patrick, Patrick Pig's, Pig's farm. farm! I'm the best baseball player on the team. No, you're not. I'm the best baseball player on the team. <laughs> hey, that was Huckaloli and Sally. Where are they going in such a hurry? <laughs> what was that? It's a potato storm! Huh? Whoa! Grab your baseball glove! We've got flying potatoes to catch and a town to protect! I'm with you, Pigwell! I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> There's too many of them! Oh, we need Huckle and Sally and Loli. Where did they go? Oh, heads up! Huh? It came down from the sky, you say? I've seen potatoes sprout roots, but I've never seen them sprout wings. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine where those falling potatoes are coming from. Hey, Huckle. Did you notice any potato trees along that street? Maybe the potatoes are falling from trees. Potatoes don't grow on trees. Come on over here. I'll show you. Potatoes grow in the ground. Oh, so that's where they come from. Look at that. <laughs> and this is about as far as I've ever seen a potato fly. Right into the sack. Where are you taking all these potatoes, Farmer Patrick Pig? Oh, I'm delivering them to a few different places around Busytown. But most of them go to Grocer Dog Supermarket. Hey, that's just across the street from where the potatoes were falling. Then that's where we should look for clues next. To, to the, the supermarket. supermarket! See you later! Thanks, Farmer Patrick Pig! Thanks for your time! <laughs> Good luck solving your mystery, kids! Hmm. All of these potatoes are in bags. But the ones landing on the street aren't in bags. Well, that's one thing to be thankful about. If a full bag of potatoes fell from the sky, it could squash a guy. Or at least a worm. The flying potatoes must be coming from somewhere else. Come on, team. We need to look for more clues. Look. That potato is coming from the other side of the supermarket. I got it. I got it. <gasps> look out, guys. <gasps> Are you all right? <sighs> I'm exhausted. Me too. We could sure use a hand. And something else to put the potatoes in. Our car is full. Okay, guys, we'll help you as soon as we can. But I said I would solve this mystery, so I have to keep looking for clues. And the sooner we solve this mystery, the sooner the potatoes will stop flying through the air. We need to check out the street behind the supermarket. Come on! Okay, so what's around here that might have something to do with potatoes? Well, there's a bank. I don't think a bank would have potatoes, Loli. And there's a movie theater. Movie theaters have popcorn, but they don't have potatoes. Mmm, french fries. All this mystery solving has made me hungry. One order of french fries, please. Sorry, but I ran out of fries just a few minutes ago. I can't figure it out. Usually I have enough spuds to last a couple of days. Spuds? What are spuds? Spuds are potatoes. I've ordered more, but I'm not sure when they'll be delivered. Hmm. So French fries are made out of potatoes. And you ran out of potatoes before you were supposed to. The timing couldn't have been worse. Mr. Fixit just installed a brand new French fry slicer out back. A machine that slices French fries? I'd like to see that. Ha! <laughs> There's Farmer Patrick Pig with a new batch of potatoes. Am I ever glad to see you? Hi, Farmer Patrick Pig. Hi. Did you kids find out about those flying potatoes yet? No. We're still trying to figure out where they're coming from. Spuds to Slicer, here we come. Oh, boy. We're going to see how the potatoes get sliced up. 
Look, the machine is still turned on. Yep, it's running the way it normally does, but without the potatoes. Ooh, that doesn't sound so good. So tell us, Huckle, are you any closer to solving this appealing mystery? I sure am, Coolbug. Here's what I think happened. Potatoes were falling out of the sky, but they weren't coming from Patrick Pig's farm. And they weren't coming from the supermarket. That's when we realized the potatoes were coming from the street behind the supermarket. When Loli ordered french fries, Fritz said that he ran out of potatoes sooner than he'd expected and that Mr. Fixit had just installed a new french fry slicer. But when I saw the new slicer in action, I realized that Mr. Fixit's new invention wasn't working right. It was getting jammed. And when it did, a lever shot up. I think that when potatoes were put in the machine, the lever sent them flying over the supermarket roof onto the street. Well, that sounds like a good explanation, Huckle. Let's see if you're right. Potatoes, please. So far, so good. But wait, I bet the machine will jam right about now. Oh. Well, there you have it, folks. It looks like Huckle and his team have solved the mystery of the flying potatoes. Everybody, all together, solve the mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. No matter how you slice it, Huckle and his team are the best there is when it comes to solving mysteries. Goldbug, out! I've got to call Mr. Fix-It right away. I need to get that french fry slicer fixed before Busy Town gets buried in spuds. I just need to tighten this doohickey here and loosen this thingamajig here and... Ta-da! All fixed! Thanks, Mr. Fix-It. And thanks to you kids for solving that mystery. What do you say I cook up some delicious fries to celebrate? My treat! Thank All you! Right. Mm, these are the best french fries ever! <sighs> Does anyone need some potatoes? Lots of potatoes? Some of them are kind of bruised. Hmm. Bruised potatoes, huh? Those would be good for making mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes! I love them more! Let's get cooking! Ah! Oh, dear! Now we have to pick up bruised potatoes and bruised brothers. <laughs> come on, guys! Here we come! We'll help you! <laughs> <laughs>